So when the Ugandans were, were asleep, they had no problem. They were there with their tribalism, oh, Kabira, Madini. <laughs> and you find a big man promoting you, Kabira. They think he's a great man. Our man, our man. But when, the, when we woke them up and they start producing goods and services, eh, then they discovered that, first of all, when you produce, like the Banyankori who produce milk, they don't sell it within Ankori. Because all the Banyankori have milk. I have milk, he has milk. So we have doesn't buy from me, I don't buy from him. But we speak the same language, Chemuge, Aterere. Yes, you are Aterere, but are you solving my problem? Nuko na umaskini, unansaidia nini? Uh, in my tribe, they say, Agandi, how are you? So, we discovered that if you produce a good or a service, people from your tribe may not be the one to buy that good or service. You may find the people in another tribe of Uganda are the ones who buy what you produce. They are the ones who have, who, who, who don't have what you have. So therefore, we say, you people, you see, Uganda is more important for you than your tribes. <laughs> your tribes cannot bring you prosperity. You can say, you can speak, Agandi, uh, Agandi, Aterere, Ndukwe Agandi, Ndukwe Agamunozo, Chemge, Mulembe, but you may find those who greet you in your same language are not the ones who buy what you produce. So your prosperity is more pro premised. In the case of Uganda, certainly me, I'm a cattle keeper. I'm a Mnyankwari. Have you ever heard of Banyankwari? If you have not, if you have not heard of Banyankwari, this is one of them. But the Banyankwere don't buy my milk, mainly because they also have milk. I have milk, they have milk. I have beef, they have beef. I have bananas, they have bananas. So the people who buy my milk are the people of Kampala. Other people. Uh -huh. So that's why in our movement, principle number one, ideological principle number one is patriotism. Uzarendo. Raira, historically speaking, has been on the side of patriotism within Kenya here. Because you remember our thing is here. Mambo yetu hapa. Purukua majimboism. Majimboism. Versus Kanu that time, and uh, Raira's father, Mze Odinga, stood very firmly with, with, with Mze Kenyatta on the, issue of, on the issue of unitary government, the unit of Kenya. Because that Majimboism was some element of sectarianism that time. You know that those Majimbo, Majimbo issues, what you call history, you call current affairs. Because I, because I was there. <laughs> so, then Pan Africanism. Mze Odinga, Joe Murumbi, even Tom Boya. Even Tom Boyer, they all supported Pan-Africanism. I'm, I'm very glad that you have united His Excellency Ruto and His Excellency Gachagua and all the other leaders. 
and we have supported our comrade, our comrade Pan-Africanist. <laughs> there, there are some individuals in, in Raira's group who, 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 who I don't think know what they are doing. You know, I, I am a consumer of intelligence services. <laughs> so I always see intelligence service reports. There's a character called Babu. I receive Babu, 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 Babu. <laughs> Dealing with anti-Ugandan group, anti-NRM group, seeing uh, Ugandans. So I had never chosen him, but now I'm choosing Babu. But those are individuals, they are not the Raira group, because I know Raira from the nationalist and pan-Africanist. So, Munsamehe Manenu Mengi, I am here to support the candidature of Raira Odinga. <laughs> as the chairperson of the African Union, Asante Sana. The African Union is a crucial point because as Right Honorable Odinga was saying, it is the one which can enable us to negotiate together, to put pressure on those other groups, Wazungu, Wahindi, Wa China, Wa America, to negotiate with them. And I am here to support the candidature of the Right Honorable Raira Odinga <laughs> on behalf of Uganda because he is a convinced Pan-Africanist. <laughs> he is not uh, just uh, Mutaftakazi. Uh, there is a job I apply for it. This, this is not career progression. <laughs> it is not adding to your CV, the one, this one, this one. No, this is. In the army, when we are doing our other little work of sorting out some issues, <laughs> there is somebody who is in, in front of, of the section. We call him a points man, a points man. So we are now looking for a points man, the one to lead us in that big battle of prosperity. Because if you say prosperity comes from unity within each country, and then it comes from African integration, economic integration, then who is leading this? Is the one who is reading is a, conv a convinced person or an Afanya Chibarua too? <laughs> because this, that's where the problem is. You, you see, people are just doing things, just uh, pro protocol. You go to the Sababa, French, Madame, Mademoiselle. Uh -huh. <laughs> the whole day you go to sleep. There is no conviction, no. So therefore, I'm very happy to come here to support on behalf of Uganda. The, before I came, the, there was a young man from Djibouti, he came. The young man that he, he, that he I, I normally see him that he's a minister. He came and told me that he was, he, he, he was, he was the one who was the candidate, candidate for Djibouti. Uh, of course, I greeted him well, we took photographs. We, we had a cup of tea. But, but I told him, I said, no. Uh, I, I'm, I actually told him that I was coming here to support uh, Right Honorable Raira because he's a candidate who is fit for this job.
because it is a job of vision, it is a job of conviction, it is a job of knowledge. 